We're calling this the wait and see market. This is the North Central Washington market update for August 2023. My home's for sale. I'm willing to sell. You just can't find it online. That's what I'm hearing all over the place. Sellers are just waiting and seeing what's going on. And as time goes on, they're interested in selling, but they're not committal. They're non-committal. They won't put it on the marketplace. So what's going on in the market? Well, because of this, sales are down 23% compared to last month. Sales are down 21% year over year. And you have to remember in 2022, sales weren't really that great. I mean, they were okay, but they weren't great. And now we're down 21% because people aren't putting their homes on the market. They're willing to sell them, they're just not putting them on the market. And so what we found was listing inventory is down 23% compared to last month. Listing inventory is down nearly 25, 26% year over year. So because listing inventory is so low, sales are low, almost correlated perfectly. You can see it, 25%, 21%, about the same, right? So what kind of impact is that having on your home's value? Well, we're seeing the average sales price go down 6%. The average sales price is $533,000 compared to $570,000 last year. So prices are going down because there's a stagnation in what's on the marketplace. I'm also finding pe people with higher priced homes are holding onto those homes a little bit longer because they're not forced to sell. They don't have to sell. They want to sell. They're willing to entertain offers but they're just not on the marketplace. So we're seeing that average sales price kind of change a little bit. Now we thought the marketplace was gonna fall. We thought it was gonna drop. Buyers have been holding off because they're hoping for a crash. That didn't happen. In fact, Zillow recently reported that they changed their outlook. When interest rates went up to 7%, Zillow said, expect home values to go down two to 3%. We're seeing 6%. They've revised their outlook and said, you know what? Because inventory is so low, supply is so low, our outlook is prices will go up five to 7% nationwide. And I don't know about you, but anytime I see prices going up nationwide, North Central Washington beats the nation on their averages. So if Zillow is saying five to 7% nationwide, it's not out of the realm of possibility that Wenatchee, Chelan, Leavenworth could see double digit gains again. And if you combine that with rates going down, let's say from seven to five, most experts are saying if interest rates go from seven to five, demand is gonna rebound, like a whiplash back in, and there's gonna be a, just another spike in prices. Imagine if inventory stays low and all these buyers get want, want to lock in their 5% interest rates, right? So we're in this situation where it's more likely prices are going to go up than prices are going to go down. I'm sorry, doomsdayer. That's just what's that's just what I'm seeing right now. Now, as far as homeowners go, you know, homeowners, you know, you're waiting and seeing, but behind closed doors, you're really interested in selling. Your home's too small. Your home's too big. It's too much work. It's it's not private. You bought a home in the last two years and you you settled and it's not what you like. The upkeep the financial stress, the opportunities, you're kind of stuck. Homeowners are feeling stuck in their homes. So the first step anytime you're feeling stop, stuck is to know your options. So go to wavalues.com, wavalues.com, and find out what your home's worth in today's market. You can also go to nickmcclainrealestate.com and set up a search so you know what inventory is doing, what's happening with homes like yours on the marketplace. So that's nickmcclainrealestate.com. You might even search around and see that there's some really good homes sitting on the market a little bit longer. In fact, I've seen this happen. The days on market has gone up. The average days on market is 66 days on the market. That's 66 days on the market. So even if you put your home on the market, you can expect two months to find a buyer and another 45 days to close. So sitting here right now in mid-August, right? You're looking at September, October, you got a buyer. You're looking to move out right before Thanksgiving. That's when you're moving into your new home with the new Thanksgiving turkey, with the Thanksgiving turkey in your new dining room table. So if you like this market update, go to our website, nickmcclainrealestate.com, search for the homes, give us some feedback, let, let us know what you think, and let's turn this wait and see market into that's go do it market and take